Hey guys, it's Max2003 here with Slow Facts. Before we begin, some people want a shout out, so here they are. Shout out to Mr. Meme Machine. Check out his Max2003 meme videos in the link in the description. Shout out also to Lily. Now let's get the Slow Facts. Asteroids are much more fascinating objects from space than you might think. Most asteroids are spaced about 1 to 3 million kilometres apart, much further apart than you might see in science fiction films. However, there is an exception and these are called Trojans. They orbit a larger planet but mainly congregate in certain areas in the orbit. They are found on Mars, Jupiter, Neptune and more recently found Earth. Other places where you may find asteroids are near-Earth asteroids which, you guessed it, pass near Earth. As of June 2013, there were 10,000 near-Earth asteroids and 1,400 which are potentially damaging to life on Earth. However, scientists monitor them constantly by radar. When they are reflected back and received on Earth, we can work out their size, speed, orbit, rotation and metal concentration. Asteroids are also found in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter orbiting the Sun, where up to 2 million asteroids from a diameter of 1 kilometer exist and millions more even smaller. However, there are some instances where asteroids orbit asteroids and some places where asteroids that orbit asteroids orbit asteroids. Jupiter and Mars's orbits can throw the orbit of the asteroid off, which sends it hurtling towards Earth. Also, if you lumped all the asteroids in the solar system together, they would be lighter in mass and smaller in size than the Moon. The first plane crash was in 1908, five years after the Wright brothers tested the first aeroplane. A United States of America government study found that between 1993 and 2000, there were 568 plane crashes in the USA. Of these, more than 95% of the passengers and crew survived. Even in the worst 26 crashes, more than half of the passengers and crew survived. Aircraft manufacturer Boeing, airsafe.com, and the US Federal Aviation Administration said that each seat is as safe as the next, but studies have found that this is not true. In 2007, Popular Mechanics magazine looked at all crashes since 1971, where seat survival data was available, and found that the rear seats were safer. The survival rate was 69%, 56% over the wing, and 49% at the front. However, Time magazine says differently. They say that the seats over the wing were the most unsafe in the whole plane, with a survival rate of 61%, 72% in the rear, and 62% in the front. But this data has been calculated from 17 international commercial airline flights, showing that this data is really limiting. But I know one thing for sure, sitting in first class does have its ups and downs. Psychologists have found that in the past 10 years, people have increased their walking speed. Professor Robert Levine, an American psychologist, found that walking speed was a reliable way to measure how busy a city was. Professor Richard Wiseman, the psychologist that led the research, studied people from 32 countries and found that the biggest increase was in Singapore with 30%, followed by Madrid and Copenhagen. On average, the increase in walking speed was 10%, but the biggest increase was in East Asia. However, New York City was only eighth on the biggest increase in walking speed on the list. Men were found to be 25% faster walkers than women. Researchers found that a busy street with a wide pavement that was free from obstacles, flat and uncrowded, allowed people to walk at their maximum walking speed. Researchers only timed people that were by themselves, were not engaged with their mobile phone, and were free from shopping bags on a 20 metre walking path. Now here are some words that we rarely use, but I think if we use them more often, they'd really add a lot to our language. Constellate, to form or cause to form a group. Cluster together. An example is, let's constellate outside the office. Degust, to taste something carefully to fully appreciate the flavour. An example is, I know you're hungry, but can't you just degust your food for once? This comes from the same Latin word as degustation. Valiety, an inclination or wish not strong enough to lead to action. An example is, I do want to donate, but it's just a valiety. Mullock, rubbish, waste matter, or nonsense. An example, what is this mullock you keep talking on about? How about brand new words that rapidly explains the situation or sums it up in one word? Snollyguster, a person, specifically politician, who is guided by personal interests rather than by good morals and values. Example, Donald Trump is such a snollyguster. Ultracapidarianism, the habit of giving advice and opinions outside of one's knowledge. Example, young people can be such ultracapidarianists at times. And lastly, over morrow, the day after tomorrow. Example, I will see you over morrow, not this week, but next. Clear, hey? 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video and post a positive comment or video idea or interesting fact underneath the description. Also, subscribe to Max2003. You'll get updates when new videos are live and it's hassle-free, worry-free and best of all, free of charge. This is Max2003 signing out.